What is going on in the loop fans? It's Drew here and I got another Six Flags pass holder survey for you and this one is talking all about food and the dining plan and not so much the dining plan itself but a mobile ordering for it. So let's check out this survey and see what new things potentially could be coming to Six Flags. All right, so we get to our first question here, and nothing really out of the ordinary. I just find it interesting that Darien Lake and Frontier City, as well as uh, Hurricane Harbor Splashdown, were all listed as potential parks you can click on as your home Six Flags Park. This is the first time those parks have shown up into the pass holder surveys. Uh, I'm, I mean, they're Six Flags Parks now, so that doesn't surprise me, but I just thought it was interesting. I don't really have a home Six Flags Park. I would say Six Flags Over Georgia is the closest one to Orlando, so that's the one I'm going to select. But honestly, I've visited Magic Mountain more often than Six Flags Over Georgia. But I'm going to go with Over Georgia for this survey. So if you don't click other, if you click other parks, you might get something different. But we're going to go with Six Flags Over Georgia for the answers to this survey. Now some pretty simple ones. Yes, I'm a male, so I'm going to check that one. Ooh, and how many kids are in your household? Well, this is the first time I'm selecting zero to two years old as Baby Holland Blitz has come to life about two months ago. And so check, there he is. He now gets to be a part of the Six Flags survey. Have you ever had a Six Flags dining pass? I have not. Uh, I don't go enough. I don't live close enough to a Six Flags park to take advantage of this. I've done it at other regional parks like SeaWorld, but not ever at Six Flags. So selecting no on this one. And then the next question asking me, when was the last time I visited? Well, I didn't actually go to a Six Flags park last year. So 2017 was the last time I went to Six Flags over Georgia. Next question is pretty simple. How often do I order food or takeout? That's quite often. I prefer to use a mobile app for online based ordering rather than calling people. I think that's how everybody is at this point in life. Uh, I'd rather do it on the internet than have to talk to somebody. That's how I pretty much do everything in life. Now they're asking why I would prefer to use a mobile app. And I mean, all of them are really good answers. I would prefer not to talk to people more accurate easy to customize my order, enjoy the experience, avoid crowd faster. But I think no lines and more convenient is probably the most important ones here. So Six Flags realizes that we want it because their food lines are always really bad and really long and they don't have enough staffing. So that would be a great one, would be for no lines, more convenient, and obviously uh, it's easier to customize my order as well. I don't normally buy food at the park because it's overpriced and expensive. So that really doesn't affect me. This is a loaded question right here. What two things could Six Flags Over Georgia do to improve your dining experience? I don't even know how to answer this one. Yes, lower the food prices. Uh, offer better customer service. Cleaning the dining area. Faster food service. Add more dining options. Add a variety of food. Offer higher quality food options. Offer more name brand restaurants. All of those are great answers. I, 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 didn't know where I where to go on this one. I think realistically any of those answers could be something worth your time to select. Would you use mobile ordering? Hell yeah I would. So that's why I selected yes. Again Six Flags, I don't like lines so I'm selecting avoid standing in line. I use mobile ordering at Disney all the time so I selected theme park other than Six Flags, where I've used mobile ordering before. You can even mobile order beer from Disney. Fantastic. All right, here's where it gets most interesting. As they give you a task to order a double cheeseburger, two Diet Cokes, and an apple pie on their mobile ordering app. So I'm playing around with the app here and looking around. Got the double cheeseburger right there. Uh, not customizing or anything, but it gives you all of the allergens and all of that kind of stuff. Um, looking around here, I really want Coke, but it yells at me and it's like, no, you want Diet Coke. Select Diet Coke. Because anything that doesn't work, it won't let you actually select on this temporarily, uh, temporary app here. But I got my Diet Cokes. 
adding to order. And now it's time to get my apple pie. Add it to the bag. And here we go, we got our drink, and our food, and our pie, 2607. And apply the season pass dining there. Sorry, Joseph, there's your credit card information to the world. And you gotta arrive at the restaurant between three and 315. Once you arrive, you let them know that you were there and they will start preparing your order. So now you'll probably stand around and wait for another five, 10 minutes or so. And then they will let you know when your order is ready. And now I get a text saying, hello, your food is ready, come pick it up. So that was pretty cool, pretty simple. I like that, can't complain. And now Six Flags wants to know what I thought about it. Did it work? Yes. Uh, did the ordering flow make sense to you? And say, yes, it did. You got to order your food before you pick it up. It makes sense. And what were my initial reactions? Ah, it seems something that sounds good on paper, but it probably won't work out very well at Six Flags. But that wasn't a choice there, so I just selected very positive. How would I describe the ordering process? Cutting edge, that's not quite an adjective that I would describe something that other parks are already doing. So I'll pick up easy, exciting, and we will move on from here. Definitely convenient. Anything confusing? No, not at all. Simple, you just have your menu there and you click on the things you want to order. So the step-by-step -step process is choose your restaurant in time, build your order, pay your order, wait until your time, walk to the restaurant, tell us when you've arrived, wait for your food to be cooked, and pick up your food. And they want to know, does that make sense? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that does. That's sort of exactly how you're going to do it. You can't do any of those things out of order. Uh, and then during the process, you select, selected 3 to 3.15. What do you expect to happen at 3 o'clock? Honestly... I sort of expect the food to be ready at 3 o'clock, but they want to start cooking it at 3 o'clock. This is what scares me, is if at 3 o'clock when you arrive and that's when you say, I'm here, and then they start cooking it, I almost wonder if, if you're going to have to wait an extra like 20, 20 minutes or so. I guess we'll find out about that. The app told me that my food doesn't start cooking until I get there, so yes, that was very clear. So what happens if you don't make it to the restaurant until 4.15? Well, I gotta assume that they cancel your order and you have to choose a new time slot. I actually don't know if that is correct, but that was my guess. So let's say you have to choose a new time slot at 6 p.m. and you don't want to wait. What happens? I would say nothing happens, you just don't get your food. Is that correct? I don't know. But that's what I'm guessing. Yeah, you don't actually get charged until you say, here, I'm here, prepare my order. So I guess you wouldn't get charged if you were late to order your food, but I didn't know that. So then we continue on with more questions about, does this ordering process make sense? Are they in the right order? Would you do this first? Would you do that first? And realistically, the only thing that could change is, when do you pay? That's really the only question that I think they are unsure about, whether they want you to pay after you've gotten your food, your card gets charged after you order, something like that. So they're not really sure where they're going with that one yet. Now I get to put the steps in order in the order I think they should go in, which is which is great. Let me just click and drag here and put them in pretty much the order that you already told me you plan on having them go in. Because that order made sense. Uh, I didn't really want to screw with them on this one. I guess I could have been like, hey, I want to walk to the restaurant first, then I want to eat, and then I want to order, but I didn't do that. Next question here is a little strange. Uh, you need to select if it makes sense or doesn't make sense the process of ordering food on this. Really the only one that didn't make sense was enter payment information after arriving at the restaurant. I feel like that could be something that's done on the walk over or when you're in line for something, like another ride. It doesn't really make sense to enter it when you get to the restaurant. So I don't know if that was just an outlier to see if I was paying attention, but that one doesn't make sense. All the other ones were like, yeah, sure, that's fine. That makes sense. No problems here. All right, next question. If it was available, would I use it? Yes, yes, I would use it. I don't like waiting in line. So I am extremely likely to use it. 
now I get to decide what I think of the name. Go Mobile Meals. Ah, uh, it's okay. Don't really like it, but these slogans are great, man. Let me tell you. Less weight, more yum. Lightning fast food. Crave it, click it. Good food, fast. All of those are their mobile slogans, so uh, that's something. Now the other names came to play. What are you thinking? Click six food fix? Mobile meals? Click and eat? Click and bite? Crave, click, yum? Crave and click? Devour your hunger? Digital dine and dash? So lots of names here from Six Flags. Which ones are they thinking? I get to pick three that I think are the best names. Let's see here. This one was a tough one. I kind of struggled on what I was thinking about where I was going with this one. Because you want something that's a very Six Flagsy name, but you also want something that makes sense, and you want something that I, I think tells what the product is. So, man, I was struggling, and I went with mobile food ordering, because that's what you're doing. You're mobile food ordering. Let's see here. What else do we got? Digital dining. And finally, going with Click Six Food Fix. Very Six Flags name. I like it. All right, what are the three worst choices? And I can't select all, so now i got to sit here and think about Crave Click Yum. Is that a bad one? It really is, but is that the worst option? Scrolling down here. Let's see what we got here. Digital Dine and Dash. Yeah, I thought that one was really terrible, so I'm going to click that one. Devour Your Hunger. Going to click that one. And... Flags fast food. What does that even mean? All right, which ones of these names make you think of mobile ordering? Well, maybe mobile meal, mobile meal, go mobile meals. Probably the ones that say mobile in it, Six Flags, makes me think mobile ordering. All right, and that'll pretty much wrap up the survey here as they just want your additional thoughts. And then they're going to ask me, was this survey the right length? So thank you for watching this video and all of our other videos here on the YouTube channel. I like these Six Flags Pass Holder surveys because the one that took place and talked about membership programs and like Diamond Elite, that came for came true. Obviously the one that talked about the crazy Superman ride at Six Flags Magic Mountain, that one's not coming true. But this I think is coming. So it's cool to see an insight of what might be happening in the future at Six Flags. And here you can see it in the Pass Holder survey first. So uh, hopefully you guys like these and we'll keep them coming. And if not, well, I'm sorry. <laughs>